the next concept circular motion why we have introduced circular motion in this chapter motion you get to know within few minutes see this circle shape the circle shape resembles the circular motion if any body starts at point a and moves in a circular path we can say it's a circular motion you are correct but in physics i told you we have some rules we need to be very specific to define any type of motion so at point a if you see and if i ask you that at what speed the body is moving how do we tell we can tell using the tangent so you draw a tangent at point a along the circle and that tangent it gives the speed direction and what is the value we need to calculate but at a if you want to know the direction you need to draw the tangent so tangent gives the the speed direction now locate some uh, one more point here let's say c and now if i ask you that uh, what is the direction of the motion at point c again you need to draw a tangent so that is the direction of speed and at point b also i'm asking you so again you draw a tangent and uh, that's the direction of speed and at last if i if i look at a point here and ask you the same the, what is the direction of motion again you draw a tangent and the tangent gives the direction of speed so in all these cases i have mentioning the direction of speed that means speed has direction when speed has direction it is called velocity so this v is velocity so at each every point the velocity changing its direction but it is constant in magnitude so according to physics circular motion is actually uniform circular motion so we need to say uniform circular motion because the definition says a body a body is in a circular path circular path a body is in circular path with constant speed with constant speed then it is called the body is in uniform circular motion <coughs> so i mentioned constant speed so v equal to constant it's constant but its direction direction changes direction changes that's why that's why the velocity direction is changing in uniform circular motion body has acceleration implies it has acceleration so we say we say uniform circular motion is also accelerated motion accelerated motion see what happened now these two are same now that means if you want to give any example for accelerated motion circular motion you can give okay we understood about the direction of velocity and when i mention accelerated motion it has acceleration so what is the direction of acceleration because acceleration is a vector see the diagram carefully acceleration is always towards the center this is acceleration direction towards the center always see here also if you draw a line a line as you know these are the radii of the circle so always it is toward the center see toward the center axis is toward the center always is towards the center but the question comes why it is why axis is towards center you will learn about force in the next chapter but here i wanted to give us a little information about it according to the force formula force is mass into acceleration so acceleration is here the body if the body is at point a the body has mass so mass into acceleration force so this force is actually acting towards the center and this force making the body to be in the circular path and that force is called centripetal force okay the force 
which is acting towards the center is called centripetal force. And its formula is mass into acceleration only. So that is where you can say this acceleration is called centripetal acceleration. centripetal acceleration. So, this force actually pulling the body in the circular path at each and every point on the circle. That is why the body is in the circular path. Suppose think that the centripetal force stops working here at the point A. Now, the question comes where the body goes. Does the body is in the circular path? No. The body will move in tangential path because the velocity is along the tangent. So, that is why when you are whirling a rope tied to a stone like this and if you leave that string or the rope suddenly then what happens? It does not move a circular path. At what point you left from that point it goes in a straight tangential path. And circular motions we have so many practical examples in physics in real life situations. Take the example of our solar system. All the planets revolving around the sun in circular motion. Specifically our planet, <coughs> our planet earth and sun system if you take. This is sun and around the sun earth is rotating. Around the sun earth is rotating in this way. And so, we can say it is in circular motion and you can say that the centripetal force is working on the earth making earth to rotate around the sun. But the question is that centripetal force is not actually a real force. Some force is acting like a centripetal force and in this case if you see sun is attracting the earth and that attractive force is called gravitational force. So, in this case the gravitational force or I say G force, gravitational force is acting like centripetal force. Now, second example, electron nucleus system, electron nucleus, just go back to the, your atomic models you, what you learned in your classes is the nucleus around the nucleus you have electron you have electron revolving around it around the nucleus it is also circular motion it is also because of centripetal force but here the centripetal force not actually act acting some force is acting like centripetal force and here we say coulomb force coulomb is the scientist name so here Coulomb force C O L O U M B. Coulomb force is acting like centripetal force. Centripetal force, Coulomb force. Now the third example, what I have mentioned earlier, a person standing on the ground, and uh, he has he has taken he has taken a rope or string tied to a stone okay, and it is whirling. It is whirling. So, the stone is in circular path. Here also centripetal force acts, but here the tension in the string, the tension, tension in the string here, it will be like this tension. The tension in the string works like a centripetal force. So, tension equals to centripetal force right so what we learned here in this case that we we understand what is circular motion why it is called uniform circular motion and different examples of circular motions and also i have mentioned you about the centripetal force which keeps the body in the circular path now more about centripetal force you learn in higher classes if you like this video Please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.